rare treat and a genuine pleasure to speak to Operations Director Liam Cavanaugh on Women's Hockey Weekly. And uh, uh, before we get into uh, uh, the meat of uh, why we have you here, uh, just you know, for those who maybe you know aren't familiar with some of the stuff that goes on behind the scenes, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you the office space question: What would you say you do around here? But, sir, but for those who might not know what a hockey operations director does, I mean, kind of, you're like the eye in the sky. You're breaking down video and stuff. Let's let's talk about what you do do around here. Uh, I guess it's a little bit of everything. Um, I think everyone would probably say I do a little bit of, of one thing here and one thing there. Um, so it's kind of whatever needs to be done uh, behind the scenes in terms of travel, film, uh, making sure, you know, our day-to-day -day operations just go as planned. And, um, and then at the end of the day, make sure our, our student athletes are having the best experience they can. And uh, hopefully this weekend is going to be one of those good experiences. And I know that uh, it's a mental health awareness series. You're you're very passionate about the issue, and uh, uh, it, it can be traced back to the uh, the podcast you created uh, within the past year or so. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, with a former player and uh, good good friend uh, Albie Daly, uh, we put together a podcast uh, through my own experiences and struggles with mental health. Um, I kind of got to the point in my life where I, uh, I wanted to help others and kind of help them not go through what I went through and, and try to put a foot in the door before that happens. So we put together this podcast and we've had the opportunity to have different NHL players, Olympians, um, different mental health advocates, doctors, and kind of different people on board that really want to make a stand and, and create a better conversation about it. And memorably, your own parents as well on one particular episode. Yeah, that was uh, <laughs> unique to have them on board for sure. Absolutely. And uh, you've also taken the liberty of organizing a, a mental health discussion panel that will precede the hockey this weekend. Uh, it's this approaching Thursday evening. It's at Yorktown Hall. Uh, hoping to get a big, big turnout uh, for that publicly. But uh, Tyler Kennedy, who's been on the podcast before, is going to be there. And uh, some other people are going to be there as well. Yeah, we're, uh, we're lucky to have the group that we have. Um, we have Justin Goldman. Um, he's unfortunately not going to be able to make it, but he's going to Skype in for us. Uh, we also have a couple counselors on board and some former NCAA athletes um, that will be sitting on the panel. So certainly a unique look, and I think it will be inviting to a lot of student athletes. How proud are you of just you know the players and the senior class in particular and the buy-in when it comes to pushing awareness for this particular issue? It's it's huge. I couldn't be happier to be here at Robert Morris and to be part of this program and see how inviting this group has been to um, take on different challenges, whether it's mental health or raising awareness for different causes and, and be a part of a staff that um, they're changing the culture in, in the athletic environment and, and really letting people know that it's okay to not be okay and uh, just taking a stand for that and, and making sure people are in the right hands. And uh, again, the podcast, it's nguradio.org, and you can listen on iTunes, you can listen on SoundCloud, or pretty much any kind of mainstream podcasting platform, really. Uh, and nguradio.org slash donate is the one you want to remember for this weekend. Uh, $5,000, I believe, is the... Cool is the stated objective that the team is trying to raise, and uh, hopefully we're going to obliterate that uh, uh, this weekend. Uh, RIT coming into town for a 7.05 Friday game and a 3.05 Saturday game, and uh, it is Women's Hockey Weekly. i got to ask a hockey question somewhere at least. To, to be successful uh, in the second half of the season, to three-peat, as it were, as regular season champions, to make a run in CHAs, this team must what? continue to work hard. Um, we're, we're busting it out there every single day for practice, and I think our girls are, are working in the right direction, and we've got some, some teams chasing us from behind now, and now it's time to you know put our heads down and bear down and, and get to the end of it. Got to have a good ops director, too. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Liam Cavanaugh. And, and again, uh, he'll be uh, with us uh, Thursday night at the mental health uh, discussion panel at Yorktown Hall. That begins at 7 p.m. There's a social hour also as well, so make sure you stick around for that. And then uh, we are going to do that hockey here at Colonials Arena this weekend, Friday at 7.05, Saturday at 3.05 against RIT. Thanks a lot, Liam. Thanks, Matt.